So in talking about redesigning the Force Power Set for Champions Online, I wanted to pose a concept design that really can only be illustrated through a little bit of video. So that's what this is, just to show you guys what specifically it is I'm talking about. Uh, primarily what I think the Force Power Set is lacking other than uh, force cascade that does not eat your energy passive, you know, your actual slotted passive core of your DPS set is that force is trying to straddle an area of it's trying to be unique and is not really sure how. So, here's one possible concept of how to do that rather than just having, uh, oh, hey, I'm gonna be defensive with shields. Oh, and by the way, I also want to be, uh, high power charge attacks it's like okay pick one so here's a way that you can actually pick on the dps side and not have it conflict or give it some rather very interesting intricacies and combos that you could actually use that make it frankly fun and helpful from a t-plane standpoint so this first power i want to introduce to is called fist of the maker it's a ranged aoe basically knock up power that flat foots pulls the enemies out of combat it interrupts them just for a moment yes it does do damage yes it can do more damage when they're staggered six times more in fact but its primary function in combat is not even so much the damage that it deals it's actually that it interrupts or sets up for a follow-up of some kind um, sometimes that's all you need to say a teammate to set up some enemies for a follow-up combo and you'll see more of what I'm talking about here in just a moment. First we take them up off their feet with a force attack. Then before they can get back up, hit them with lightning. Use of a force power in such a way allows it to be used essentially as an interrupt uh, leading up to combinations of other damaging attacks similar to that one you just saw. There's only one way to settle this. And here's that same basic combo again. Next we add Pull of the Abyss, which is a knock two power. Unlike a ranged knock back which is just going to scatter enemies everywhere and knock two will actually pull them in one spot which makes dealing with large groups of enemies clustered or you can throw another aoe down on top of it being that much more effective in team play settings more importantly though is the keyword team play because scattering enemies everywhere is very annoying but not nearly as efficient when dealing with uh, groups of mobs. And finally adding in a slowing effect force power allows for some even more layering. Using those in combination, uh, disruption, knock two to cluster them together, and slowing effects I think it actually way more effective for team play than just raw DPS or knocking them all over the place. Uh, DPS is critical because it's an energy protector. But at the same time, you want to be able to not piss the hell off your teammates by scattering the enemies you're fighting all over the place. So Dragon Age 2, which I know some people don't like Bioware and lots of people definitely don't like EA, but they did have some very intelligent design in this where Champions Online could learn something, Cryptic could take something from this when they're looking at redesigning Force, and that you can actually, not only should it be DPS focused for Force, but don't make it eat your passive, don't make it scatter your enemies all over the place, be useful to your teammates. You know, make it to where people are like, oh, thank goodness a person has force on the team. They can actually cluster these guys, or they can slow them down, or they can save my ass by disrupting them, by knocking them up in the air or off their feet, you know, flat footing or dodge. Something useful, other than just standing in one spot, just throwing down 
lightning during the maintain. It's way more fun with charges, clicks, um, combinations, essentially, that make it fun for combat and for team play as well.